All right, guys, it's time for another tour player swing analysis here, and we're going to go through the swing of Davis Riley. Obviously, one of the great up-and-coming golfers on the PGA Tour, won last year. Uh, really just a high-level talent. So right off the bat, a couple of things to notice. You know, he's somebody who sets up with a little bit more knee flex than some other golfers. You know, the knees actually go past the armpit line, something that's probably a little bit less common, especially when we're dealing with players in a well-balanced position. Uh, it's not exaggerated by any means, but just a subtle little reference point. When he takes the club back, he's somebody who does not have a ton of wrist set early. The wrists kind of fold backwards, so the lead wrist tends to stay on the flatter side, which is why the club face is always going to go back a little bit more closed. So you can see the club face angle, especially relative to the spine, it's a little bit more toe down. A lot of this has to do with the fact that he's not hinging the club vertically with a ton of wrist set. So here, from there, as he continues to take the club back, usually when you don't set the wrist a ton, you'll see the shaft be a little bit on the flatter side going back. Of course, you know, you'll see a lot of more new school players have a little bit more vertical hinging, and something that I know for a fact Davis is working on as well in his own game, but obviously with his older pattern, it tends to get a little bit more passive, a little bit more of a flatter lead wrist, which tends to get the shaft a little bit flatter. And then from there, going up to the top, there will naturally be a change of direction from that flatter position. You know, the trail elbow will separate and work a little bit more behind them, so a little bit more internal shoulder rotation, which typically when it's happening from a little bit of a more passive wrist hinge in the backswing, that reaction can cause some momentum to tip the shaft across the line, which is what we're seeing here. So from here, he actually does a good job rerouting the shaft coming down. You know, the shaft, by all accounts, directionally is trying to work towards a shallow direction. The only thing is that momentum that tips the club across the line can sometimes cause the club to be a little too steep early in the downswing, something that you'll see with Davis. And something that a, a lot of high-level players do is when the shaft gets a little bit on the steeper side coming down, they will offset it with a lot of trail side bend. So obviously Davis is extremely talented. He's able to do this at a high level. But what you'll basically see here is in order to get this club to shallow out the appropriate amount, he's somebody who will deliver a little bit more trail side bend than most, which obviously gets the club looking like it's in a pretty good spot here coming down. Club face angle is still not getting compromised. But usually at impact when the club's a little steeper and there's a little bit more trail side bend, you'll see a little bit of a higher handle delivery. So obviously in this case, you can see where a shaft was at setup and then you can see where a shaft gets to by the time he gets to impact. The delivery of the handle and the hand path is a little bit more upright, which usually leads to a little bit more, um, you know, saving with the hands at the bottom. And again, really a high level talent. You know, a lot of recreational golfers would benefit from having this much trail side bend. In his case, it's necessary in order to offset the steepness of the club, which if you work your way backwards, that steepness of the club can often come in from the club tipping a little too far across the line with that separation from the right arm late in the backswing, which again, if we actually work this way backwards, it can happen, you know, because he didn't hinge the club very uh, upright with his wrists. And so that passive pattern gets the shaft a little bit flat on the way back, club face a little closed, and then that creates that like kind of up and across position, which leads to some of that steepness coming down. Again, this is not to discredit him by any means. One of the nicest guys on tour, one of the best up and coming talents on tour. Obviously a couple of little details here that can be just slightly more efficient in my opinion.